Good afternoon. We had a cool and windy day today and our temperatures are going to stay cool as we head overnight with clear skies. 32 Falls, 26 in Aberdeen, 29 in Pier and 24 in Rapid City. Tomorrow is going to be another partly to mostly cloudy day with strong winds. Temperatures much of the same, 49 Sioux Falls, 45 in Aberdeen, 48 in Pier and 44 in Rapid City. We get rid of the wind, get some sunshine and warmer temperatures on the way by next week. We'll take a look coming up. Kelloland's first at four starts right now. Live from Kelloland Media Group, Kelloland News first at four. A statewide outage of 911 services. What caused the disruption? Burglary and sexual assault. The suspect police in St. Paul are looking for after a crime near a college campus. And later, safely disposing of sensitive documents. What to expect from an upcoming shred event. Good afternoon and thanks for tuning in to First at Four. I'm Don Jorgensen. And I'm Kelly Volk. We are learning more about the cause of last night's temporary 911 outage across South Dakota. In a statement, a spokesperson with Lumen Technologies confirmed outages in South Dakota, Nebraska and Nevada were, quote, due to a third party company installing a light pole unrelated to their services. This morning, Sioux Falls City officials held a press conference about how Metro Communications handled the outage. Kelloland's Lauren Solick will have that story tonight at 5. A police officer in Spearfish has been named the 2024 South Dakota Officer of the Year. The South Dakota Police Chiefs and Sheriff's Associations presented the award to Officer Reese Waldo for exceptional police service. The service can include extraordinary valor, crime prevention, investigative work, community policing, traffic safety, or drug control and prevention. Officer Walno took the lead on a large drug bust in August of last year, leading to over a pound of a controlled substance being taken off the streets. The State Railroad Board has some concerns over the potential future of passenger rail in South Dakota. The board received a briefing on the current Amtrak daily long distance survey study. The study says South Dakota would have low ridership compared to proposals from other states. One other factor is the high cost of building more rail lines across the state. We took a deep dive into those costs. You can read that online in a Kelloland.com original by Ray Yost. Well, turning our attention to our weather, saw a little bit of sunshine, but those winds are yeah. still sticking around, yeah, Megan. I felt that out on my walk today, Megan. Those winds, unfortunately, are going to stick around as we head into tomorrow as well. We have some broken clouds here in Sioux Falls right now. 49 degrees, so well below normal. And that strong west wind right now at 23 miles an hour. Those clouds will clear out tonight. Those winds die down, but they both come right back tomorrow. In Rapid City, we had some sunshine, but that strong wind the past couple of days have kept those temperatures cooler. 48 degrees right now. Here is a look at those current temperatures. 48 in Yankton, 44 Brookings, 43 in Sisseton, 45 in Mobridge, and a cool 35 in Custer. Our winds have been out of the west and northwest all day, and they have been strong right now at 15 to 30 miles an hour, with a few wind gusts in the past hour reaching 40 and 50 miles an hour. Here is a look at our broken cloud cover. Those will move out of our area as we head into this evening, clearing out by sunset. There is a freeze warning in place tomorrow morning in southeastern Kelloland in those counties in purple for temperatures falling below 30 degrees. The rest of Kelloland is actually going to be cooler than southeastern Kelloland. For tonight, the skies clear out, those winds die down. 30 are low in Sioux Falls, 26 in Aberdeen, 29 in Pier, and 24 in Rapid City. Tomorrow, that strong northwest wind picks right back up, partly to mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures much like today, 49 Sioux Falls, 45 in Aberdeen, 48 in Pier, and 44 in Rapid City. We'll keep the winds mostly light as we head into the day on Saturday, partly to mostly cloudy skies, and those temperatures much of the same. 49 the high in Sioux Falls, Aberdeen and Pier, and 45 in Rapid City. Sunday has some sunshine and warmer temperatures are back. We'll take a look at that in just a little bit. Thanks, Megan. The St. Paul police are sharing details of a pretty rare crime near several college campuses, and they need help finding who did it. It happened early Monday morning at a home near McAllister 
College. As Reg Chapman with our CBS affiliate in Minnesota reports, the man burglarized the home before attacking the owner. Snelling Avenue in the Mac Groveland area of St. Paul sits near several college campuses and is now where St. Paul police are focusing their search for a sexual assault suspect. This has created a lot of anxiety for people in the area and we completely understand that and we're working as hard as we can to find the person who is responsible. The attack took place between 4.30 and 6 a.m. Monday morning. The victim was inside her home and said she heard someone pounding on the side door. A man forced his way inside. He burglarized the home before pulling out a weapon and sexually assaulting her. It is very rare that it happens and uh, because of that this person is very dangerous and we want to get them off the streets. We need to identify them as fast as we can. SPPD threw every resource available into securing the scene and then searching for the man responsible. All the resources that go into a homicide went into this uh, and it's all done with the sole purpose of finding who is responsible. Um, but we also need the public's help. Officers went door to door asking homeowners if they heard anything or if their ring doorbell captured images that could be useful in the investigation. We used canines, we used drones, our investigators started canvassing the area. We're doing everything we can to find this suspect, but unfortunately we have not made an arrest yet. The suspect is an African American male between 25 and 35 years old. He was wearing a black t-shirt, black pants, there was a zipper on the right leg of the pants. He was wearing uh, thick soled shoes. He was dark complexion. The suspect had a scar from his breastbone all the way down to his belt line. If you have any information, contact St. Paul Police. In St. Paul, Reg Chapman, WCCO News. Sexual assaults by strangers are rare. According to the Rape, Abuse and Incest National Network, eight out of ten rapes are committed by someone known to the victim. A school district in northwest Iowa is turning to its community after a bond failed in November to get feedback about last year's proposal. Hinton Community School District wanted to add four new classrooms for their elementary school as well as a new gymnasium, a new entryway and more parking for the high school. After the bond failed last year, the school sent out more than 300 surveys to the community. School officials have already received 200 of those and soon they'll take a deep dive into the feedback. We're, we're happy with uh, what we're seeing so far, but the more the better. And uh, we're, we're going to lift every uh, stone and turn it over and make sure that uh, we give the community every chance they can to share with us and how we can improve. Hinton surveys are due this Friday in the school district. Officials hope to have an idea for this bond in late May.